Hi, I'm Natalie Portman. Hi, I'm Fessa Thompson. And today, we're gonna summarize the movie Thor, Thor Love, Love and, and Thunder. Thunder. Spoilers ahead, so don't say we didn't warn you. I don't get it. They click on this video, right? Anyway, the movie begins in a desolate desert, with the suffering of Gore and his daughter, Love, the last of their kind. Despite their prayers to their god Rapu, Love perished. Gore responds to the god-killing Necrosword summons, which takes him to Rapu's verdant world. Gore renounces the deity, after Rapu mercilessly mocks and ignores his situation, which leads Rapu to strangle him. Gore accepts the Necrosword and uses it to murder Rapu, pledging to kill all gods. Under the influence of the sword, Gore is given the power to control the shadows and create monsters. But he is also cursed with an imminent death and corruption. That's so tragic. Thor, who has joined the Guardians of the Galaxy, discovers that Sif has sent out a distress signal after Gore kills several gods. He separates from the team and encounters a hurt Sif who informs that new Asgard is Gore's next target. Dr. Jane Foster, ahem, Thor's ex-girlfriend, has been identified as having stage for terminal cancer oh, and no, medical no. treatment has failed to cure her. Aw oh, that sucks. She goes to new Asgard in the hopes that the remaining shreds of Thor's hammer Mjolnir, which Thor has casted an enchantment to protect Jane, will be able to heal her. The hammer is reforged and become bonded to her. Just as Gore's attack starts, Thor arrives in new Asgard, and is surprised to see Jane brandishing a Yalnair. Thor teams up with her to combat Gore, but he manages to get away and kidnaps several Asgardian kids, imprisoning them in the Shadow Realm. In order to alert the other gods and solicit their assistance in raising an army, the gang journeys to Omnipotent City. Zeus, the head of the gods, is afraid of Gore and is unwilling to assist. Believing that they can hide in the city and be secure from Gore, Zeus orders the group's capture, in order to stop them from telling Gore where the city is. When Korg is hurt by Zeus, Thor uses the High God's Thunderbolt to impale Zeus with it, which Valkyrie snatches before they flee to face Gorin. While they travel, the two rekindle their romance, after Thor hears of Jane's cancer diagnosis. But they are unable to find the kids, when they reach the Shadow Realm. Jane deduces the trap set up by Gore after spotting old paintings that show Thor's battle axe, Stormbreaker, as a way to call the Bifrost to enter the realm of eternity. To stop Gore from using Stormbreaker, she throws it away. But when Gore takes control of the situation and threatens to kill Jane, Thor is forced to call Stormbreaker back. Before Jane passes out, Gore successfully takes Stormbreaker and hurts Valkyrie. Ouch! Thor learns that Jane's Thor form is preventing her body, from fighting the disease naturally when he returns to New Asgard. As a result, Thor makes his way to the Altar of Eternity alone, and using Zeus Thunderbolt, gives the kids his power to fight Gore's monsters while he fights Gore. They shatter the Necrosword, freeing Gore from its hold, but the three are sent into Eternity's realm with Gore. When Jane senses that Gore is going to kill Thor she joins the fight to save him. As he prepares to fulfill his request, Thor begs Gore to save his daughter rather than the gods. Thor then steps aside to let Gore make his choice while caring for Jane, who passes away in his arms due to her illness. Gore is moved by their affection and asks for eternity to bring love back to life, which it grants. As Gore succumbs to the curse, he asks Thor to look after love. The kids head back to New Asgard where Valkyrie and Sif start teaching them. Lud, whom Thor adopts and who helps him in his exploits, uses Stormbreaker while the former wields Mjolnir. Mid-credits, back in Omnipotent City, a recovering Zeus sends his son Hercules to assassinate Thor. In the post-scene, shows Jane arrives at the gates of Valhalla, where Heimdall greets her. Hi, I'm Natalie Thompson. Hi, I'm Fessa Portman. And today, we're gonna summarize the movie Thor, Thor Love, Love and, and Thunder. Thunder.